Hey everybody, welcome to Mind Mesh's Movie Talks. My name's Chayton. And I'm Fish. And we are watching a, a grand old time, something akin to uh, something that Charlie Sheen would star in. Actually, he might be in this film, I don't know. Um, we are watching, to keep along with our bad superhero films, no, this is not Batman v Superman, no, this is not Suicide Squad, no, this isn't, this isn't any DC film. You remember when Drake Bell was a superhero, and I'm not talking about Spider-Man. Yeah, remember remember when Drake Bell uh, decided to be a ripoff of Spider-Man based off another insect, uh, primarily dragon a fly. dragonfly? Yeah, well, this is exactly that. This is the superhero movie starring Drake Bell. It's literally, it's from the same production company, I believe, that did, like, Scary Movie and all of those. And the Spartans. They, yeah, they just wanted to hit that, that sweet, sweet early 2000s superhero trend that was seemingly happening at the time with Sam Raimi Spider-Man and Fantastic Four, X-Men. They just wanted to they wanted to knock those those heads, make themselves a nice adult superhero film, and uh, you know this is what came of it. This is it. Yeah. So with that being said, to sync this movie commentary track up with the movie, what you're gonna do is press pause when I say the pause, and press play as soon as the Dimension Films logo, the one you you know and love from the classic Spy Kids films, as soon as the Dimensions Film logo completely fades to black you're going to press play on this movie commentary track but for now press pause ooh la la the close up of the suit yeah dude it's just like spider-man see all the hexagonal patterns wait no spider-man started with like the cool little web graphics yeah. right yeah 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 superhero movie oh we Did forgot you, to tell were him. you a fan of like this whole genre of like parody no. movies i'm not you know me i'm not a fan of like comedy movies in general so no this was not my uh this is not my cup of tea personally but uh kevin, kevin hart? hart wait when where no but we forgot to tell them where they can rent this film oh yeah you the can get cheapest it on amazon. place is amazon prime everywhere else actually costs like an exorbitant amount um like on amazon it's like four bucks to rent the movie but everywhere else, it's like six dollars and up. It was kind of, it was pretty insane. Actually. I think that's worth it. No, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, I actually was never really into the whole scary movie stuff as a kid. Oh, or yeah. like, you yeah, know. no, I, 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 I refuse. Like, I watched them. Like, I, I never thought they were I, that funny. Yeah, no, I remember there was a huge craze for them. So I like, I sat down one evening and just watched all of them back to back. And after I finished it, I was like, wow, I really, is this what death feels like? Like, I just wasted a day. Like, it was literally like I slept for 24 hours straight. That's that's how it felt. Bro, this has more texture Come than the... On. This has more texture than the Man of Steel suit. In all honesty. All right, let's be honest. I, I know I'm talking a lot about honesty in the beginning here. But, uh, oh, he got, he got to get his antennas ready. Yeah, dude. But uh, can we just agree to disagree that... Uh, the suit, the suit's actually good. I know. I actually kind of <laughs> like the design of the suit. Oh, I want to see them ass cheeks. Oh damn! I thought that was gonna go all the way into the crack and like like zip up. Yeah, into there the hasn't gooch. been any uh, comedy so far. Yeah, no, it's just straight. Oh, there are no eye lenses or no, it's just uh. Oh look, it's the, it's the oh there it is. There's the comedy. There it was. They're trying to show like oh it's the dragonfly symbol. But lo and behold, it's just, he's just ho he's holding a, uh, oh, Harvey Weinstein produced this. Did he actually? It just said that. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, it's not surprising, though. This seems like the kind of n messed up nonsense that he would do. Oh, he can't get it. Ha, it's so funny. Oh, his thumb got stuck in it. Don't you know, don't you understand what comedy is, Fish? This is, this is true to form slapstick. Does he get bit by a radioactive dragonfly or does he eat? I forget what happens. I can't. I haven't seen the. I've seen this movie a grand total of one time. I can't wait to see it again. Oh, here he goes chasing the bus. Bro, this is why we don't have to watch Sam Raimi's Spider-Man because we're <laughs> just watching this. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Pain. Bro, I can't wait to count how many fake laughs I have in this film. I, I, I'm so... Bro, remember when he was Timmy Turner? <laughs> That's what we need to watch next. <laughs> <laughs> the live action, <laughs> fairly odd. There's character. enough to make a fucking month out of it. There are like four of them.
Oh, that joke won't. Wait, Kevin Hart. How many times have he been held back? I love, uh, what the fuck? Wait, what? What was that joke? What was that? Ha- Wait a are second. Are they on a green screen? I'm looking at their, uh, the edge I, of their Yes, hair. they are definitely on a, uh, actually it's a blue screen. If I, if I'm looking at that correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I can see like the blue <laughs> print. What is going on with fucking Kevin Hart? Why is he, he has like he's Apple the tech product. guy. He's literally the tech guy. He has like two Bluetooth pieces in each ear. He's the dude from Kim Possible. Why wasn't Harvey Weinstein in that one? <laughs> <laughs> he actually made a cameo if you look closely enough. <laughs> he's in the back just staring over the seat. Like him, Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, firstly, I would just like to say there's already been like three continuity errors in this cut. I mean, like Drake's arm just keeps raising and then the next shot, it's just lowered. But uh, maybe that's just because I've been uh, editing a film with so many continuity errors that I can't bear witness any in Wait, any is, other film. Since Kevin Hart is like, his friend, and this is based off Spider Man. Does that Kevin make Hart. him Harry Harry Osborn? Well, is he gonna turn into like the villain? I, you know, have you ever seen this movie? Are we are we doing this blind blind? I saw this like long long time. Okay, ago. so we're going into this blind blind. Like all I remember is that Drake Bell is Dragonfly. That's basically. I, did, the, the, I remember. I remember bits and pieces of scenes, I'm but not story gonna, wise, I'm not gonna spoil the scene. But um, the recreation of uh, when the villain walks. When Willem Dafoe walks into Spider Man's room and like the blood drips on the floor. Yeah. I remember oh, yeah. the recreation of that. Yeah, they did do that in this film, huh? Wait, did that wait, did I just see a bird catch on oh my oh is That's no one so gonna, funny. Is no one gonna notice oh Bro, this is straight up scary movie vibes. Yeah, because it's straight made- What the F loser? This is rated R. Why didn't you just say fuck? Is it rated R? I think so. Are we sure? I thought all scary movies were like rated uh, PG-13. Oh, wait, no, that's the bad guy. <laughs> healthy cough. That bro. was good. I like the healthy cough. Cough, bro. B- b- healthy cough. R- wait, bro. what's his name? Rick I don't Riker. Know. Man, it's just hard for me to see Drake Bell fall from grace so far after doing Drake and Josh to this. And then after this, he had such a massive coke addiction, got into a car accident, and went to rehab. <laughs> those, those are Bro, just like perfectly. That is, that is straight up pudding. Yeah, no, they put look, pudding look, into look a, at how perfectly they I know, like made. I, I know what I'm saying is they just put pudding into a piping bag. Oh God, he's just gonna spray chemicals on him. I said H2O. Yeah, no, but the gag's gonna be it's gonna do something to his shirt. He's gonna look back and he's gonna notice it's gonna say H2O. But then on the nine. Bam, <laughs> what's up? Hydrogen peroxide, let's go. Oh, never mind. It's the, yeah, it's the horny hormone for all animals. Who would have thought? Oh, there he goes. That wasn't a Fucking like funny. rabbits. Oh. They're all humping them. Oh, what was that movie that this company also did? Was it called, like, the ultimate movie that just parodied every movie? And there was, like, this scene where the Alvin and the Chipmunks were just rabid creatures. That, I like, don't, sang I have they no were, like, idea. Yeah, there was a movie where they parodied Alvin and the Chipmunks, but it was, like, parody after parody after parody. And then they, uh... And, I remember and the then, 300 parody this company did. 
Yeah, no, but there was a scene where they went to like this country bumpkin store and and Alvin and Chipmunks were in there and they sang and as they sang they were chasing them around and just ripping off people's testicles and it was great. It was honestly really good. Damn. Oh no. Dude, He's no wonder he... no wonder this uh, fucking movie's PG-13. Should be rated R. Look at all this fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, the no. snail? Yeah. <laughs> I concur. What if they got... One laugh for each of us so far. One genuine little chuckle so far. <laughs> are you, are you going to keep count? I hope you I have. I think it's easier to count that than the times we fake laugh. Yeah, that's very true. That is very true. What if they actually got the people who uh, played Aunt May and uh, Ben... But what they had the, Tobey uh, Maguire instead of Drake Bell. Like, what if what if the roles were reversed? Um, wait, do couples not talk like this naturally? Because personally, I talk like this to my significant other. But uh, I feel like they're trying to make it into a joke. <laughs> That's n God. <laughs> oh, bro, he just electrocuted all those fish. They even They're added the little electrical or the electrical, like. <laughs> Oh, it's doing that weird thing that you... But they have no reason to do it. What? Where they get rid of the look space. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, no. Honestly, I, I just think they couldn't afford him. I don't think they could afford him for another day, so they couldn't have him in the scene to be like a dirty OTS. I just think the cinematographer wasn't, wasn't all that good. What are you talking about? This is up there with 1917. Bro, let's not talk about the Oscars right now. <laughs> oh, that was a good gag. I like that little gag. That was a funny gag. Bro, that's literally the gag they do in all these. They can't remove the tarp. Well, no wonder they can't remove the tarp. It's got so fucking saw blades on the top there. That's a death trap. But yours. See, they obviously couldn't just afford a giant glass tube chamber that filled with green smoke. They could only afford, like, an Ikea office chair that they could strap anything they found the trash to. Yeah, they just went to, like, a scrapyard, found a bunch of PVC pipes. I love that in cheap movies, though. Especially, like, super cheap oh, sci-fi yeah. where That's they just, like, to hobble together fucking just random gadgets or whatever. I mean, But the thing is, is that they're created enough to make them look good. Oh, yeah, no, I, I agree. Like, the original Star Wars. Um, oh, yeah, fucking, no. Um, his lightsaber is, like, a 1930s, uh, like... Flash knob for a camera. Yeah, no. There's there's so much stuff like that. Oh. And this Boom is how goes the dynamite. This is how Iron Man was made. Bro, you want to know my favorite thing about uh not this movie, but just movies that have older people in them. Is I, I love when they uh they have bloopers and it's just the old people forgetting their lines. Or like flubbing their lines. Bro, he's like the vulture. He just sucked the life energy out of him. 
I'm younger now. <laughs> Oh, wow. Big whoop. You ripped off your metal cuffs. Congratulations. Prisoners have been doing that for years. No more? Wait, wasn't that the Peter Parker gl- gag, though? Yeah, but also when he took off his glasses, the shot was out of focus. <laughs> ironic, huh? <laughs> yeah, really ironic. That's so funny. He screeched like a little girl. <laughs> Dude, that's a gender stereotype. How about you take that out of your mouth and throw it out that's the door? That's why I was commenting on the joke. Bro. What the fuck? Good fart joke. I wish it would have <laughs> actually like trailed as he like fully walked out like through the door and then when it shut you could like still stereo. hear the Yeah, just the faintest little like whiff. Went through the right speaker into the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That would have made it funny. He's going to look it up and straight up it's going to tell him he's got cancer. <laughs> Did you get bit? Wait, what's wrong with Brittany? Bro, I like how they did use the stereotype of every time anyone gets sick or is in pain, they go to fucking like WebMD. Yeah. And I mean, it- I mean, it's what the people would do. Have you had sexual intercourse? No. Oh, uh, how'd I know I was going to do that? Dude, I feel like I. The thing is, is that this movie's going at such a pace where I feel like I can guess the next joke, but the problem I mean, is, the is that when are- I. When I guess it, it's happening. So it's like, it's it's not even worth it, because I'd just be giving a play-by-play. I'd be a sports announcer. I love how he's a... Uh... Professor FX. Or Professor X, because it could be... Pro- F- I'm trying to figure out the 5016 uh, thing. I feel like that's his credit card number. Like the pin you have to answer, or the put in. Memories. <laughs> Memories. Oh my oh man, remember Bro, these photoshops are That last one was pretty good, but the rest were pretty bad. I... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bro, I feel like this is gonna take a real raunchy turn real fast. Probably. About to get No or she's I... about to see him. No, I want him to like pull out the <laughs> That's pretty funny. Dude, your laugh made me laugh. How about you be co- Wait. Bro, you want to know what I didn't know about stripper poles? What? And this might just state that I just don't go to strip clubs or ever have. I did not know the poles are is what spun. Oh wait, really? Yeah, I the, didn't know the that poles, uh, poles is what a lot. I always get so confused. Like, how the fuck do they keep that grip strength when they just when they're spinning like that, or when they're sliding? Yeah, and no, it's really just it's all grip strength because the poles, the thing that moves, not them. Wow, wow, wow! That was a good one. Man, this movie's that just was, fun of the quality only gag content. Was the funny gag was that fucking brawl gag. removal. <laughs> I was literally about to scream if they just straight up show tits. I was gonna, I was gonna I was, scream. I wouldn't be surprised though with these kind of movies. Wait, did they actually get him? Wait, <laughs> wait, they actually got him? Oh my god, they actually got him! Man, he must have been really strapped for cash. How? Oh, it's Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I know, but that's a. The... <laughs> oh my god! This might be a fucked up question to ask, but do you think that they um? You think they just had him sit there for like a good few minutes and then like did all the post audio? Oh yeah, no, he can't type this fast in in well in real life. Past tense. R.I.P. My boy Hawkins. Yeah, I know, because his, his word count was, it was more like, hi, my name, it, like, it, it's not, it, it's not fast and fluent like this. But I mean, do you think that they, he was even saying anything right here, or do you think that No, I think he was just sitting. No, I, I straight up, yeah, Any no. of these shots, he's just sitting there? Yeah, no, for, for real.
the thing is, is that he definitely, he definitely knew what the script was gonna make him say. <laughs> so he was fine with it. <laughs> yeah. So no, obviously he was fine with it. That's what's kind of confusing me. Bro, she didn't act like she just got knocked out. She just acted like she had a full-on orgasm. Dazed and confused. <laughs> Dazed and confused. Wow, you really know how to handle your balls. You want your project, Yeah, then? you want to keep the project, or just going to leave it laying around? Oh, good job working on your project. <laughs> Bro, that was out of focus for a second. I love pointing out when films are out of focus. Because I've also been editing a film that's out of focus. That's, dude, don't look at me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Some shots are, but it's okay. Look, man, I I'm, not the, I'm not the I, AC. Dude, <laughs> dude, I know. Get on, but it's your job to spot it. It's true. <laughs> Rip it off. Do it. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be cool. I like how this movie... Well, I'm trying to think of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. I, I can't remember if they used a prosthetic with a bunch of hairs and they just like reverse pulled through or if they actually did the CGI for it. I can't remember what they did. I can't remember either. Bro, that's some strong language for a PG-13 film. <laughs> God, man, it's not PG-13. Hawkins is, Hawkins is what's making me laugh right now. No, I like how he was just petrified, frozen, straight frozen. And he's gonna rip out implants, bro. I don't think that's how that works. They're not like slinkies. Rest in peace, Stephen <laughs> Hawking. Rest in peace, Stephen Hawking. Wait, how is he speaking? He has to have his chair to speak like. Wait a I second. Wait. <laughs> Just straight sentient. He's speaking for his chair. That's how that works. This is the worst day ever. Man, I'm just so upset. I ruined... They're making me pay for the water fountain. I ripped off a man and the woman's clothes, but only the women's clothes partially? Like, who does that? And then I lost a fight to the school bully that I've always lost fights to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's only been doing this for three seconds, but he always feel, he already feels confident how they, enough to do this. I love how they did the gag with, like, you know. Oh, wait, I just noticed something. Having the set, like, yeah. turned. The yeah, plants no. are also, like, turned to the side. I, but I, I liked how when they were doing the break dancing bit, the, the, it wasn't just the brick. Like, there was no definition to the brick. It was just the flat break dancing floor. For a while, so you could actually see the wall like indenting under him. <laughs> Here comes Wonder Woman. Psych, just me, Chuck Testa. Me, Drake Bell. <laughs> just me, Drake Bell. Bro, when's Josh going to come into this film? I need Josh to be the supervillain. That's what I want. It's Oprah. They have to team it's up. It's Oprah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh, this is the one shot I remember from the trailer. Oh, yeah. I, for I forgot this was a scene. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Oh. How would you catch that? <laughs> that was that was, okay. Look, old people, old people doing funny stuff is honestly old people. Old people in general are just funny to me. Do you do you feel the same sentiment? Do you like no. when when funny people do dumb stuff? No, you don't find that funny. 
I think it's funny when our friends do dumb stuff. No, not me. Not I, said the fly. Oh, so when he, if Eli was to do the same thing? Oh, shoot someone it. with a nail gun? No, I'd be worried because he only hangs out with us, which means we have to go to the hospital. You don't have and, to go to the hospital And usually when that. we're inebriated, we're usually fucked up. <laughs> so, yes, I wouldn't find it funny. Bro, I just, I love the fact that Kevin Hart is playing, like, a 16-year-old. I can't remember how old Kevin Hart is, so, like, he must be he's, at least in, probably, like, his mid-20s right here. Yeah, no, he's probably about double the age of Drake Bell in this film. So no, Drake, Drake Bell's probably about 25 in this, too. He's just now hitting his 30s. Just now? I'm pretty sure. I feel like Drake Bell's, like, 40 now. You think Drake Bell's for it? Uh, let me, I got this. Drake Bell's age. Let's see. Drake, Drake Bell is currently 33. I was right. Oh, okay. So in this film. When was this movie made? Uh, I don't know if it'll show us. Oh, God. No, it doesn't. Um, I think it's like, dude, I would guess. Or... Yeah, you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Batman's origin's about to happen. Oh yeah, uh, Kevin Hart. Oh wait, this no, this is um. Kevin Hart is forty, so there's a seven is, year difference. This is what happened to what you call it to his parents. Oh uh, yeah, the Bruce yeah. No, not Bruce Banner's parents. No, to, Bruce Wayne. Or not Bruce Banner, Bruce Wayne's parents to to what's his face. Drake Bells. Yeah, Drake yeah, Bells. I thought that's what you meant when you said, oh, here comes Batman's origin. I thought they were introducing a new hero. Oh. Let me see. When, when was the superhero movie? You know, this is the first, like, parody movie we've seen since the Avengers of Justice. Yeah, it's been since the very first one. And they've both been superhero ones? Uh, this was 2008, which means 12 years ago. So, Drake Bell... Was twenty one? Oh and, wow! And Kevin Hart was uh thirty eight. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't it, know it, how it, old it, Kevin Hart is. It would technically be twenty eight. So yeah, okay, they were close. About a ten year gap when you really think about it. That's still an actor. Actor wise, it's still pretty massive. <laughs> Grabs his testicles. Oh. He was wearing it. <laughs> like in the other shots, he was don't clearly worry. wearing Bro, it. Bro, don't worry about it. This is... That was kind of <laughs> funny. I'll give it that. <laughs> Look. Okay, in an hour and a half long comedy parody film, I make We shouldn't we shouldn't only laugh like three or four times. <laughs> we should laugh a bit more. Well no, that's what I'm saying. It's just like the the comedy in this film is gonna be back to back to back to back to back as we've seen it. Now the is stuff that's fly actually, through the window. I hope so. Bro, they're just watching Who Framed Roger Rabbit. No, but in, in comedy films like this, the jokes are always back to back to back to back to back. The thing the, the thing is is that they're not expecting everyone to laugh at every single joke. And the reason is is because they, they, they planned this movie to fit multiple audiences. So you'll hear someone laughing throughout the entire movie, but it's never the same people. There's, like, there's groups. There's little, soci there's little societies inside watching a comedy film. Look, just because I broke the science of what this film is doesn't mean you can huff and puff at me like the big bad wolf. Bro, you're a superhero. Shouldn't you be able to, like, absorb that shit? Bro, nice Toyota Prius. Fucking loser. It's just a bike. How'd I know? Because it's like Peter Parker. Peter he Parker had, he had, had a, a moped. I was about to say he had a motorbike. <laughs> but only least. in the second film. 
Oh, those are practical. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro, fucking better effects. That's a strong electric fence. I was going to say better effects than uh, the Beauty and the Beast fucking movie. Or wait, no. Sleeping Beauty's the one where she wakes up. Wait. Which Disney princess cleans and then the animals talk to her? Which one's I that? I any of them, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. See, I wish Kevin Hart played that character. Dude, that's not how buffering works. Yeah, no, Kevin Hart would have been so much better in that role. But I also really, I don't like that actor. I've never seen him do, give a performance that I like. I think it's he just got, the way he, like, pitches lines. Yeah. Like, he's got a real Stephen Hawking's vibe with the way he talks, except it doesn't work. Wait, did this come after Spider-Man 1 and 2? I wouldn't... Yeah, no, because this came from Spider-Man 2. So they didn't even do it right after the first, like, big superhero craze happened. This was, like, mid-superhero craze. I wish this was a... Well, you said this came out in, what, 2008? Yeah, 2008. Iron Man, in the MCU, it just started. Oh, yeah! Fuck, dude, it's weird to think that Iron Man came out in 2008. Yeah. Like, I think about the MCU, and I'm like, oh, that happened in the past, like... Like, they, they thought this was the height of the superhero craze by parrying the Sam Raimi Yeah, I know. Movies, but they That's were... wild to think about, that the MCU is already... 12? Yeah. 12? Jesus! I just feel like... I feel like it's been half that. No animals were harmed in the making of this film. Except for a few birds. Uh, a dog and a monkey. Wait, his name's Albert? Bro, I really wish that they would have kept Uncle Ben, but they just hired the guy that's the pitcher on the Uncle Ben Rice, and he was the grandpa. Amalgam amalgamated. Better than Oscorp. Am I right or am I right? I look so beautiful. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. No, I don't. Help me. I'm transforming into the the the, the. I need life force. So life force. He literally is the vulture. Cause it wasn't it the original vulture that like had a that like literally sucked the life energy out of people to make him younger. The original original one was just a dude in a costume. I don't I know. I could have sworn there was a reincarnation that actually like sucked the life essence out of people so really? that he could stay young. I thought that was his whole shtick. No, uh, I remember reading Oh, that's so funny. Um Marvel had these things called Marvel Essentials where it was just like the OG like Amazing Spider-Man like from Amazing 15 to like issue 20 or something like that. Yeah. And um like I, I get you, dude. Um and I read that and the vulture was in that and literally he was just co- a dude in a costume, an old dude in a costume. Well, I knew that. I I just could have sworn that he had some kind of like weird aspect to him where he like the the suit that he wore like really fucked him up. And like used it, it literally it ran off his it ran off his life essence or some shit. So he had to keep stealing people's lives and making them old. So that way he and could he keep going. Be, he'd be like a vulture scavenging for people.
He's got testicular cancer. Wait. What the fuck do you swallow? Is that a Tabasco bottle? I like that little interaction. That little, like, here's your file back. No, I'm giving it back to you. But here's your file back. (laughs) 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 All right. We are averaging one laugh every five minutes. I think we're doing pretty good. I I think we're surviving pretty well. I... That dude was on Arrested Development. He was pretty funny. That's the thing is that a lot of these actors were in better comedies. It's so, it's so weird to me to see like actors that I've grown to enjoy or actors I know can do good things be in these kinds of movies. It's the same with Do- with Doom with like Carl Urban and The Rock and the girl and the lady from Gone Girl and stuff like that. Bro, speaking of that, I found a newfound love for Adam Sandler. Yeah, he's got some Sol- good films solely from Uncut Gems, though. Oh no, I get that. Also, they completely they uh they bought Professor A uh Professor X's chair off eBay during like a charity auction, and they just used it in this film. But no, Adam Sandler's got a few good films. Same with uh Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller's got a a a bunch of great serious films. That's like Night at the Museum. Yeah, Tropic Night at the Thunder. Museum. Tri- yeah, Tropic Thunder. It makes me wonder, like, I feel like there's got to be a lot of oh my lord. There's got to be a lot of uh, comedy films that, um, or comedy actors that could do like super serious roles, but because they've been typecast into comedy roles, they never get hired. That's the thing is like and Adam Sandler had to make his own production company or like pair up with like literally go out and ask certain directors, hey, can I be in your films to, to do yeah. stuff? Wait, is he going to change transportation devices every scene we see him in? Yep, he's gonna do it. Bro, I thought he couldn't move his legs. I was literally just storm. <laughs> Wait, is it? Is it the same person? No, it's not the same person. Is this but... like a Tyler Perry movie? Wait, Pamela Anderson? She was in Scooby Doo. I do wish this was like a Tyler Perry movie where Drake Bell just played every character. Wait, they're on green screen right now. They are not in a real place. What the fuck parts of the scene are real? He's I'm saying- actually trying to figure that out now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You're making me laugh and I don't like it. Pure absurdity like that is what will make me laugh. I'm still trying to figure out what parts of the scene aren't on green screen. Oh, here it comes. Yes! Oh, Perfect. Uh, that was called Green Diamond. That was called uh, Static Shock. Um, we Fit Trainer. We Fit Trainer. <laughs> yep. Uh, Bride to Be. The, that's just insects. That wasn't very creative, in all honesty. Uh, Did he just land on the aspect, oh, I got bitten by a, a radioactive dragonfly? 
You're kinky just like me. Oh. He can't talk. He can't. Bro, it's spandex. He can breathe. As someone who dresses up in spandex constantly, I can concur. concur. Now, latex, on the other hand, that shit hurts. Bro, this is Batman Begins. Hell yeah, dude! It's it's your boy, the Jokester. Who's that? It's the Joker from Adventures of Justice. Oh wait, is it really? <laughs> yeah, look at that boy! Holy shit! <laughs> I told you, I told you, he's in all of these films. He makes all. He's the production company. He's the head. He makes these films. <laughs> Chalk Storm. Hope he turns to ice. Bro, nice effects. This is what Fan Four Stick needed to be. This is the body horror I wanted to see. What if a man had the power to turn the fire, but still got hurt from the flames? And that is the entire, the entirety of his scenes in this film. Sadly, uh. he, could not, he could not afford to be a main character. He's going to fall... Wait a second, that's not how buildings are made. Mystery Man, Naz Purse Snatcher. Time, what, what is, is his name? name? Bugman? Bug <laughs> Hi, Times, Hi, Mr. Mr. Wait a second. <laughs> PerezHilton.com, Dragonfly, gay, gay, gay. That's not Tom Cruise. His front teeth aren't centered with his nose. He just seemed like every other Tom Cruise impersonator I know. Was that a random freeze frame for like four? four? <laughs> Maybe. That was weird. He like said the news story and then he just froze. Yes, you're HIV positive. What? Movie. What, what's wrong? Giving me cancer. Bro, you can't say that. That's a serious thing. If you're going to make jokes like that, say, this movie's giving me coronavirus. Uh, oh, my, Dude, that was weird. That sounded weird in my ear, in my headphones. What the fuck, Sir William? They mentioned it earlier. I can't, I don't know what the fuck they said about it. Did they? I guess I missed it. Bro, Wikipedia is not a reputable source. Have you never heard that? Actually, Wikipedia is pretty, pretty decent. Especially if you're looking up topics that no one wants to meme. I was, um listening to a podcast recently actually and they were talking about how um it was a dude that studied ai yeah and he was talking about in the science field because like there's not not much that you can like disprove or you know there's scientific law and stuff and like yeah. wikipedia is just good to like go and look at that yeah like, no like it's a great source for that in the scientific world apparently i mean i would believe it Wiki like as i said wikipedia is a pretty decent source it's just the fact that, like, back it's in the day... It's normally about, like, people. 
like bios and stuff like that. Well, no, it was, it was one of those things where like anyone can edit it, and that's why it made it unreputable back in the day. But then Wikipedia got admins that actually like scan everything and like they get change logs about what's changed and they they approve and disapprove stuff now. Yeah. Bro, give me one of those Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, 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 what's it going to be? The Daily Trumpet? The Weekly Trumpet? Empire City Times. Why is this not J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man Homecoming? How does this guy look more like J. Jonah Jameson than, uh, than J. Jonah Jameson? Oh, that wasn't actually like his boss. That would have been kind of funny. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. You got to stop. I you got to stop it. I hate it. that it's making me laugh. I Stay hate serious. It. We got to we got to take our improv comedy chops and just soak them in. Soak them in. Dead face. Keep it, keep it real. How many cops does it take to screw in a light bulb? Bro, when are the Avengers of... Or uh, the Avengers, what was it? The Avengers of Justice. When the hell are they gonna like cameo? have a team up with this? No, yeah, I want to. I want to see the cameos. What was that, bro? That was literally the scene. Where you could tell that she's attracted to the mask and not the man. That's when they hook up when they hook up later in the film, she's gonna ask to keep the mask on. She's she's gonna be the black cat character, you know? Did you know that? No. That black cat in Spider Man didn't like Peter Parker, she only liked Spider Man. So when he actually tried to like take off the mask when they were fucking, she was like, uh no, how about you leave it on? That's a thing. It's a real thing. I promise it's a thing. I'm trying to figure out. Bro, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, that was the joke. Bro, that's a pretty strong flow. Bro, if I was a villain, I would be this villain. I just want to make time puns. I want to pull an Arnold Schwarzenegger and only make time puns. Uh. What? What's going on? I'm just trying to make it through this film. We're at the halfway point. Oh, are we about to get another scene? Bro, isn't it lucky for him that her window is like right beside his bedroom and that if he ever wants to, you know, do a little something something at night, he can just look out his window? Convenient. Convenient. He doesn't even have to like risk his internet browsing history. He's got the live show. I wish my grandma gave me that kind of advice. <laughs> you mean your aunt? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, aunt. Sorry.
Well, she just starts sneezing. She's allergic to flowers. I I can't. Oh. What? Wait, what? I had a heart attack at 12 because I ate too many Twix and it gave me diabetes. What? Sorry. What? I just had a moment there. What? I swear, they just got Drake Bell to look around making different expressions, and then they brought in the actors afterwards to, <laughs> to record random lines. Like, I wonder how much of this move was actually based off a script. Sorry, I said a script. I had to enunciate, pronounce, uh, pr pronounce you know? You're good, you're good. I mean... Bro, I, I know you know what I mean, but for our, for our uh, our fans, you know, sometimes you gotta be clear. Bro, Oh Shit Avenue. O Street and Shit Avenue. Uh-oh. Bro, what if she what if it's a twist of events and she's a superhero and she could have taken all these guys out? Keep thinking they're going to be more than one superhero. I yeah, mean, no. it kind of is with the academy and shit, but you know what I mean, like a team yeah, no, up. No, no, yeah. I but completely this is understand. Like this is like the year that all started, so I guess... Bro, what if this is a prequel to Avengers of Justice? What if the superheroes in that stemmed from this moment? And it was like... They didn't add any fucking sounds, so... And then you can see the fucking padded brick, like, going in. Don't worry about it. They couldn't afford it. I like how in the mask they didn't cut it properly, so you can see like the stitch lines like falling over onto his face. Yeah. Oh. Too far, too far. Bring it back down. Where'd you go? I lost you. Goodbye. I'm gonna run away now. <laughs> they almost kiss and he just turns around. I thought that was what was gonna happen. Nah, dude. They gotta get that sex appeal up in this film. So far, all we've gotten it from is the grandpa. Oh, Jesus. Jesus! Gotta go. It's real cold out there. And now they're back to normal. That was the gag. Wait, you're telling me that their hard nipples are strong enough to pierce through, uh, uh, what's the suit made out of? Not diamonds. Not diamonds and bras? You're telling, whoa, I don't believe it. Bro, he was straight up just making this in command prompt? That's not a real CD. That's made out of paper. Real CDs do not... Fucking radio silence from that <laughs> joke. <laughs> no, in, in all honesty, my mouth is just agape. Uh, just, uh, I don't even know how to explain what's going on. That's a big turkey. It's also a turkey that doesn't seem to have any form of, like, I wonder if that's like forced perspective where the turkey's just forward towards the camera and there's just a bowl that she's shoving that stuffing in instead of inside a turkey. Yeah, no, that's definitely it. It's forced perspective. <laughs> or maybe uh, not. I think, I think, I what think it there's is, just a hole in the bottom of the a, turkey that's, that's like stuffing. Going it. into the counter. No animals were harmed in the making of this film, including several birds, a monkey, a dog, and a cat. Now that is a Thanksgiving meal. Pepper? Uh, no, uh, that's that, no, that's pepper. That's peppermint vodka. 
Oh, premium. Never mind. I, I, it I thought it said peppermint too. Don't worry. <laughs> Wait a second. So the bully's Harry Osborn? I guess so. Wait a second. Oh, I get what they're saying. You think they could make the superhero movie in today's day and age? People would get a lot of shit for it. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, I mean, comedians still make jokes oh, yeah, about no, sexuality and stuff. But what, I, what I'm getting at with that, though, is like, you can make those jokes if they're funny and in good taste. Oh, yeah, it no. It seems like, like these jokes aren't, they're not good jokes and they're not in good taste. Oh, that's, that's the problem is that people get up in arms with comedians about certain jokes that they make. And it's like, for me, I have to go on a comedian by comedian basis. And like, also the fact I have like, to hear the jokes. Oh, shit. I thought it was through sweat, not blood. But no, it's through piss. Oh, yeah. No, that, I remember that much because he's having to hold it in. Yeah, no, I thought it was sweat. I remember that it was clear. I, I cannot remember that it was... See, I remember that one shot, and I was like, oh, that's clear. Huh. No, yeah, what was it? Yeah, I don't remember that. Sorry to say. I don't remember that either. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. He's got some straight... He's got a good stream. You know... Bro, he's going to have to clean all that up later. How? How? He's a superhero. I don't care what you say. He doesn't got invisibility powers. Is he in the drawer? Oh, funny gag. What the hell is going on this scene? <laughs> Movie's just a fever dream. <laughs> no, literally, I feel like I'm going to have I feel like I'm literally going to have a fever dream. <laughs> that really got you, didn't it? What the actual fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I just love gore. Maybe that's it. Maybe we should watch more gory films. I think you like... <laughs> I think things that make you laugh are like random acts of violence. And things that make me <laughs> laugh are just random acts of obscurity. Like, I, like know, with the Professor X, <laughs> like random like wife and children pulling up <laughs> like i that's what i found funny and then you found the yeah no that was just really good i should have expected it that's the thing okay i guess i find humor in things that i'm not expecting oh Ooh. I really just... Bro, it doesn't smell, though. He's like, yeah, I got poopery in my underwear. I spray it down every morning. Side effects of uh, being super powerful, I... Uh, <laughs> the the side of shit. The life force... Yeah, the life force just shit. works its way right through me. I have constant <laughs> liquid diarrhea. But a benefit is, is that it doesn't stink. Odorless, because oh. you know, you, life force doesn't smell. Yeah, life force doesn't smell. 
That says they're going to sell it in the future whenever they have pills that like extend your life by a year. Doesn't smell. It doesn't <laughs> smell. <laughs> Don't worry about having a rotting corpse that smells because you won't be one. That's right. If you buy Life Force today, sold by the pill. All right, we're making that a commercial. Please. Oh. More fart jokes. Yeah. Bro, that audio was so crunchy. That was such I'm a. Sorry. That was not. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking. Sound, listen to the fart. If it happens. Yeah, it's going to happen. No, they, do you hear how they, low quality they, is? They li- literally ripped that from YouTube in you like know, 2008. That, <laughs> it just sounds so bad. Oh, God. It doesn't feel... Like, the the, the, the thing is, is that they probably could have mixed it to sound like it like fit in the scene. That's out of focus. But uh, they... What the... It's so loud. It's so direct in your ears. So funny. Oh, it's going to make a flamethrower. I called it. It'll be one last part. So they don't kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Make it through. Oh, dude, it's so rancid. It's make. And that's the fourth bird to die in this film. Oh, the classic Batman boomerang gag. Oh, no, it was him that got hit. Who would have thought that would happen, huh? I'm really counting down these last 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I can laugh to that one. Oh, wait, his Final uncle. Act. his uncle's still in the hospital, isn't he? Or is he dead? Wait, did that ever happen? He said a week. You know a movie is old when it uses MySpace as a reference. Oh. oh. <laughs> not, his his died, not his uncle. Oh. <laughs> you know, okay. Quick question. If you were ever to have your testicles removed, do they cut? Do they like sew up the ball sack so it's just the dick? Or do they just leave the empty sack? (laughs) I think they would cut off the excess skin, but I would really like to imagine that you just have like. An empty sail. It's like you can grab it and just fucking stretch it out. Be like, be like, you make your own like skin condom with it. <laughs> yeah, you just flip it around. And just like, hey, watch this little gag. How do you get... Oh, oh, 
See, that's what happens when you die. All the gases build up inside you. So if you ever did light a flame to a dead body, it would light that quickly. Also, that old woman was just full of gas. What the fuck is happening? What do you mean? They're having to go through two Spider-Man movies in one go. What do you mean? Aunt May never died. Well, they have to. They've only been on the first one. They never made any plot points from the second one. They went to the bank. That was in the first one. No, it's not. That's when Dr. Octopus came in. Okay, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> They're ripping from every movie. The The thing is, is that like they just need, uh, they had to change it enough to where they didn't get sued. <gasps> What's that? What's the five? Is that a MySpace thing again? I grew up with MySpace. I just never had one because I had no interest. I had one, but I was like, "What's up?" Oh, okay, I'll admit you, this on air, bro. It, did it you? Was, it, it was a Naruto. I, I, my name was. It was just a Naruto page. I, my name was Naruto. Of course it was. Of course it was. I thought you were gonna admit that you weren't thirteen when you started it. I was even younger. I was probably like eleven. That's illegal. Did you check mark the box saying you were thirteen? Yeah, I'm turning you to the uh, the CSI. Wait. Didn't he just look at those? Wait a second. Wait a second. This is some uh. weird public displays of affection. Now that one's good. I wonder how they did that. Yeah, how they... How'd they get the... How'd they do that? It's all uh, CGI. Bro, I wish. Is that the old man or is that... Dr Most likely to be masturbated to. Hell yeah! Bro, I would just like to imagine that Drake Bell would actually do this with whipped cream. All right. Question. Are you more likely to shoot cheese whiz into your mouth or can of whipped cream into your mouth? Whoa. Wait. What? What? Bro, don't take my crack away like that. That's a crack pipe, right? I don't do drugs. I don't know what, uh... What if he ripped off the fake beard and it only left the mustache? What if he, like, ripped off his skin? <laughs> he just screamed in eternal pain. Yeah, sound, uh, listen fucking to how stupid you fucking Cosmo sound saying that. Wanda poof up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it starts. Yeah, exactly. We should do a supercut where we rewatch this movie. And that, and that scene yeah, that cuts that, the Fairly Odd Parents movie. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it just has a little smoke cloud, just like poof. That's right. <gasps> okay, what's this is weird. In this one scene, Kevin Hart actually seems young to me. Maybe it's just the beer goggles that I'm wearing, but he seems younger. I think it's just the beer goggles, my friend. Oh, damn. I really need to take these things off, huh? I don't even get that. <laughs> like, what were they trying? Was what was they're the trying joke? to say? Old people are bad drivers, bro. We saw some of the. Wait, he. I thought he was dead. Oh, that wasn't until after the movie. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Wait. 
What was that sound effect? I hope he doesn't win, and that's what pisses him off. Wait, what? Hell, oh. Is that a catheter bag? I don't know medical apparatuses. Sorry to say. Bro, I kind of want to rip this song from the movie and make it your ringtone for when you call me. Is that bad of me? What? I want to take I want to take the douchebag song that was being sung and make it your ringtone for when you call me. Good thing I never call you. I know, but when you do call me, it'll be a special occasion. Just like this morning when you called me. Yeah? I did call you this morning. <laughs> Digging for gold. Oh, uh, how do you get to a seat so fast? Bro can't even afford Hanes. Bro, the Dalai Lama is hung. Now this is what I call a party. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, this couldn't get made today. <laughs> this is very racially insensitive. No, I'm not. No, I'm just trying, you? I'm just trying to protect this cerulean tube. Roofy naps. Again, not something <laughs> can be can... made today. <laughs> Too bad that was my <laughs> last one. Oh my god, the Pope is trying to destroy Dragonfly. Bro, who knew there was a convention happening, right? Wait, I saw Spider-Man. Yeah, I did too. And it... What? Wait, so this was made after Spider-Man 3 because there's Halloween costumes of the black spider suit. It is. It came out in 2007. Oh, Spider-Man 3 was 2000? Oh. Yeah. See, years and months are just an enigma to me. That is not the real chair. It it's is. It's the real chair. <laughs> All right, tell me when he's on a green screen and when he's not. Oh no, bro! It's so weird. This, this, the, the lighting of this film makes it seem like every single shot is on a green screen. Is that just me, or do you see that too? Like, I mean, that shot's obviously on a green screen. Uh, but I think it's all practical. But like that, that like, there's something about this that just makes it seem. Well, I mean, that just, hmm, you know. His ring. 
I yeah. wear it under I wear it under my fucking suit all the time. How did you toss it so perfectly straight? Hold oh, my eye. What's wrong with you? This is the only reason Stephen Hawking accepted this. He just really wanted to give a superhero speech. Also, I like how they went so shitty with the eye makeup on Dragonfly that you can actually see under the black makeup. It's not like classic Batman where it's just his eyes are black. It's like he only put on one layer and he said, okay, I'm done. It's okay. Wait, Dragonfly has a life sucking power too? I think he just channeled. Yeah, I think energy. he just sent the life energy into her. Ten oh, seconds no. to immortality? What a crazy countdown. Wait, oh god. Uh oh. Oh. Is he going to fling it with a hip thrust? Uh oh. He's alive? Wait a second. No, I don't agree with that. <laughs> yeah, no, that dude's completely. <laughs> this is the one thing in the <laughs> this is the one thing in this film I don't agree with. How oh, he's going to land a fly right here. He's going to get his wings. You love me? They're just standing. Yeah, they're just standing. Bro, you can just see the terrible green screen that's happening on her hair. It's so bad. I think it's pretty good. No, dude, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I think... Flipping him through his back. <laughs> Wait, he just straight up... He grew wings! Yes! No! <laughs> Dude, Stephen Hawking is the best character in this film. Oh! <laughs> rest in peace. <laughs> now for real, rest in peace, Stephen Hawking's. Every superhero has an alliterate, alliterative like uh, last 10. and first name. What? No, it's not going to be 10 minutes of credits. Yes, it because is. it actually is going to be 10 minutes of credits. <laughs> what? Is this an actual original is, theme is song Drake from Bell? Drake Bell? It's an actual original theme song from Drake Bell. Dude, I am all for... Well, an old guy did get shot over there. That was his take... Wait, they're actually calling characters by the one line that they had? Uh, guy who wipes Wolverine's ass. Was that actually a thing? Yeah. Hell yeah. Wait, there is no way that the credits are 10 minutes long. You said this was an hour and a half. I thought it was an hour and 37... Yeah, there's still... No, wait. An hour, it's, only, it's only... No, it's an hour and 27 minutes. Or at least that's what happened when I Googled it. Oh, well, you only got three minutes. Yeah, so that, that, that's an hour... What the fuck was this movie? Fever Dream. Fe yeah, straight up Fever like, Dream. It wasn't even like... I don't know. I felt like... 
Okay, I remember. I felt like Avengers of Justice wasn't like this much of a fever dream. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just about to say that. I was like, from what I remember from Avengers of Justice, it wasn't as a. Uh, off-putting as this film was. Yeah, I know. And Avengers of Justice was released last year. This was, this was 12 years ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this thing? Like, really? <laughs> Bro, I'm digging this theme song. I, I want this on my phone. I wonder if I can look Not up... Not bad, I mean... I want, I'm going to look up the superhero movie soundtrack on Spotify and see if I can find this on there. Look up Jake Bell, it might be Bro, on there. Bro, this is literally all he got paid from this movie. He signed the contract, realized he didn't get paid, and he had to write an original superhero theme. He signed the contract to be on the score, but then they also... like He didn't, <laughs> he didn't like read it, and... It, yeah, he then, also, then he got put into the lead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was the composer that just randomly got thrown into the lead role. Well, they wanted it. They didn't want to pay him like the actor rate. Yeah, so. they wanted to pay him the composer rate. So they just put it in his contract. So I'm afraid to ask this question, but uh, what would, what would, <laughs> what would you rate this fil- film? Sorry, I got the hiccups there. Are you kidding me? It'd be a fucking ten out of ten. What Hell you yeah, say? me too, dude. Ten out of fucking ten. Superhero the movie, or as it's known on Amazon. Okay, it's. I don't know what this movie's actually called. It's either called Superhero, the Superhero Movie, or just Superhero Movie. Because everywhere I went to rent this movie... It was called it, something different. Yeah, it was called something completely different. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, is this the female character doing an original song? What is it? I, I really... Okay. Anyways, I don't... I don't even... I'm just... I am literally just here. But anyways, thank you so much for uh, listening to this movie talks. I, I, I don't know what else to say other than like, why, why listen to this one? Uh, but, but just know, just know. We'll be we're, back. We're, we'll be back. And we, I don't and, think and we'll, we'll be... have a. No, no, no. We're recording this out of order once again. But, uh. Just know that the next movie we're watching is a classic, and yes, it's current. Yes, it's new. Yes, it's a blast from the past. It's Fuck it's, off. it's not a it's not from a year ago, but it's from a year ago because we're gonna be watching the best the best the, of the, the, the trilogy movie from last year. Yeah, Hellboy twenty nineteen. You I, know it's gonna be a good time. I haven't watched it. He hasn't watched it, so we're going into it blind. My name's Chayton. And I'm Fish. And, and thank you for listening to Mind Mesh's Movie Talks. Uh, you know, always join in every Friday on your favorite podcast platforms. Every, uh, what is it, Sunday on, on the Mind Mesh YouTube channel. You know, watch a movie along with us. And with that being said, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.